Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home, and for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray that the presence of God would be in your home or wherever you are. Let's start off with our Philly testimonies. What's up, Philly? I'm standing next to Sister Maisha. Maisha, I got a question of the day for you. Now, since you're from New Orleans, you brought me some beignets? Next time. Next time. I need them. No, I'm hungry. Tomorrow. I'm going to go. I'm going to ride all the way there, and I'm going to bring it back. Extra sugar. Extra sugar. All right. But listen. Don't wear black. No. <laughs> the real question <laughs> of the day is, who invited you to Philly? It was Miss Mary Ross. A long time ago, she was uh, Clyde's teacher at Butterflies, and she invited me. I got you. So I have one more question before I let you go. Yes. When you came to Philly for the first time, what was that experience like? It was awesome. Uh, life changing, definitely. Uh, I feel like this is uh, my family, you know. Uh, I don't have family here, or I haven't lived actually where I have family the last 20 years. So basically, it's like home. I got you. You, you saying that for real or you just saying that to make it look good? Man, I'm always real. All right, I see you got that omen fatigue on like you about to go to war or something. Rising up, I'm on the wall. Rising up. PMG! We all we got! Philly, y'all be good. What's up, Philly? I'm standing next to Brother Brendan and Sister Shirley. Listen, I had a question of the day for y'all. And the question of the day for y'all is, who invited you to Philadelphia? Um, well... From let me recollect, um, we had kind of been knowing Pastor and First Lady um, and the journey they had from you know, from college um, to uh, coming to know Christ and then uh, Bible study, and uh, we kind of also heard about the church, uh, and we were actually planted at a, a church here in Lafayette, but uh, my wife decided when Philly came about initially that uh, you know she's like I'm gonna go check it out one day, and. That's kind of where it, uh, kind of where it, it started. I think uh, you know she came back on fire, and uh, you know um, I decided to visit um, after that, and kind of went from there. With it. here we are, man. It's uh, what six, seven years later. Well, I believe it was 2011, 2012. So about yeah, seven years. Yeah, yeah. I got y'all. So I have one more question for y'all before I let y'all go. When y'all first came to Philly and sat down, even though y'all had new pastor and first lady prior to coming to Philly, how was that experience like sitting underneath them um, in a covering? Well, I, I'll start first. Uh, I think uh, it was uh, pretty impactful for me because um, in hindsight, looking at it, um, I had, I think I had the religious part, the external part, but it was like, it hit me inside. Um, they had, yeah, you know, I had me on my my knees, and you know, tears coming down that first time I came. It was at the Pine Street campus, and uh, you know, it's been a continual growth process. I think God needed to rework me inside, you know, uh, at, at a heart level, and uh, not just. I grew up in the church, so you know, I knew all of the external things and how Christian being Baptist, you know, was supposed to look and. But, uh, you know, just coming to know it, Philly has helped me with my relationship, you know. So let me stop. I don't want yeah. to take too much time. <laughs> well, that's about it. It was really, for me, a safe place. Um, being we were leaders in the other church, and sometimes we can just wear those titles and get caught up just doing the work of the Lord. So for me, it was when I would come, when I needed to really be in his presence, the Lord would allow me, my husband would, to come to Philly. And I used to call myself a future Philly member, and then eventually... One day I woke up and I said, babe, I can't go anymore. And he, he supported me. That was about actually three years after Philly started. He supported me coming and eventually God removed him um, from his leadership and he eventually, we just came as members. And it's been an amazing journey and we are grateful and honored and humbled to be a part of what God is doing. That's what's up. Like I keep telling y'all all the time, you come to Philly one time and you can call it home. That's a wrap. Amen. Y'all be good. Be blessed. Appreciate it. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. 
Let's congratulate this year's 2019 HFL Hebrew Flag Football League champions. For the men's league, congratulations to Team CIA. For the women's league, congratulations to Emerald Eagles. And finally, for the children's league, congratulations to Vitz Team Power. We would like to thank all of the teams for participating in the 2019 HFL season. Happy early birthday to Deacon Vinnie Duga. From your wife and family, we love you and appreciate you. Happy birthday. Let's congratulate Angel Freeney. Her 25th birthday is Tuesday, December 10th, as a gift she'd like for everyone to keep her covered in prayer. Happy birthday. For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. We must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays at Tuesday's announcements. This week's Saints is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the Saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, you can download the Philly app right from your app store. It's available on Android or Apple devices. Just search for PCC Lafayette. The School of Prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. The Bible tells us that we should weep with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice. This month, the Fire Minister would like to extend an exclusive invitation to all those people who are suffering with grief and loss during this time. We'll be meeting 7 o'clock every Thursday after prayer. God bless and hope to see you there. Reignite the fire on Thursdays after School of Prayer here at Philadelphia. Reminder that Philadelphia t-shirts are now available to pre-order at the table in the foyer. Sign up after service. Mark your calendar for the men's camp out coming on Friday, December 13th, 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. Saturday morning. All men are invited for fellowship for fathers and sons, uncles and nephews, friends and neighbors. Come and enjoy good Christian company. Bring your tents, lounge chairs, and cookware to prepare a meal for yourself or some to share. It will all take place at Brother Donald Harvey's residence, 1091 Lena Drive, Arnoldville. The Single Ladies Ministry invites all single ladies to join them on the journey and word that God has set for 2020. Prosper in all things. They will first kick off with a nutrition class December 21st at 4 p.m. here at Philadelphia. We hope to see you there. Saints of God, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time.